A falling post-mortem on David Moyes made grown men revert to smudge-faced boys. United fans given chance to reminisce the greatest times they undoubtedly miss. About their feelings and the memories they evoke. Celebrities and Terry Christian warmly spoke. <laughs> <laughs> so sure at Barca, Cantona's Wembley, but some offered a more transcendental memory. Ronaldo, not Cristiano in this tale, but a now chunky chipmunk, then playing for rail. And they chanted his name as if one of their own. When he left the pitch, he didn't walk alone. Consider those moments bigger than sports when it's more than football you report. One recalled Michael Knight and buying the club. He appeared on the field doing kick-ups. New belief before the cheers stopped to ring, prematurely deflowered by yet another false spring. But they chanted his name as if one of their own. That day on the pitch, he didn't walk alone. My greatest memory is not my first game, backed by the Salford guttural refrain. No collected moments of sublime brilliance from a still spelt mobile Brazilian. <clears throat> not a debut win that promised so much, nor a dodgy businessman with a great first touch. <laughs> but when the Hillsborough campaign came in 89, and the Stretford end began to chime, and we chanted their song as if one of our own, when they paced the pitch, they didn't walk alone. And they'll never walk alone. And you'll never walk alone. Cheers. Yeah. 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 Yeah.